Oh, wow, these look nice. What are these? It's dog food. Drag, potentially drag the rakes behind the boat. Yeah, that's it. Good idea. I'm up for that. Good. <laughs> Don't drive the boat, you'll set the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> now it all comes out. <laughs> Just this second ago, finished work. We're off back down the river again to resume the camera search. If it's still there, who knows? But we'll find out, I hope it is. So I'm just gonna go and get Kirsty now and uh, we'll see you when we're on the road. We've got other methods that we're gonna be using this week. We've got a few other people on board that are gonna be helping. We'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, we've got an airbag light. I wonder what happened, I heard a noise earlier. I heard a little ping earlier and that must have been what it was. But I've had a look at the weather, it's going to be a little bit windy, so that won't help if you're on a paddleboard or a uh, in a dinghy, that's for sure. It'll be being blown all over the place. I hope everyone's okay and um, we should have put this as another activity actually, uh, thinking about um, paddleboarding and kayaking and stuff like that. But this is going to be our first attempt. This will be fun. Site and what a quite a warm night it is a bit a bit of a muggy one and um, the river is higher than what I thought it was going to be as you can see it's uh, still nice and calm people going out on their kayaks there which we'll be doing tomorrow hopefully if the weather stays nice of course so uh, we're gonna have um, when we usually get here we put the oven on and get a pizza in straight away but we've got some friends staying here one lot of friends in a caravan the other lot in a camper and um kirsty's gone off to see him somewhere over there and i'm just going to be uh yeah sorry we're going to get a takeaway from a pizza place which is a few miles away and they do delivery to this site which we didn't know and now i'm just going to set up the tv uh, we never get a good signal here to be honest or one channel if you ever wonder why we always have somebody did comment actually a while back why do we always have um not miss marple the other one murder she wrote and colombo well it's because that channel is the only one that gets a good signal and that's five usa i think yeah so i'm just going to put the aerial up and uh see but if anyone could tell me what use are these I mean, what is the point? I mean, surely you have it up on the highest setting the whole time. <laughs> Does anyone do that? Does anyone go in the caravan tomorrow and go, oh, man, today I fancied something different. Let's turn the signal booster all the way down. But of course, the first and most important thing. <laughs> Cheers. Look at that. I didn't know it was that material. Like a tent. It's the same as mine because in my one I've got this middle bit so this, yeah. this can come out. Oh really? So if it gets a puncher that yeah. then comes out. Oh right. Where'd you sit? That'll be the... Oh so Velcro's there. on like that and then... Velcro's on there and then you strap them. Oh, you strap these ones too. What a proper bit of kit and that. That way. Oh, you can have it both ways. So that's what it is. Oh my god. So this is going to be a weekend of fun. Gone and, gone, gone and met the lady with our food and uh, we're just about to enjoy after a long hard day's work so where are they gone? Get 
Get the drinks. Oh my god, what sort of night is it going to be? Is it? Yeah, I don't know how that works. It is. Are you getting in it then? Is it like. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's still like it's sucking it out. Right. Now do it. <laughs> Have you got it on the right way round? I don't know. Yeah, because you could be. Oh, I put it on the wrong hole. Yeah. Oh, I see. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I see what you're saying. That right. needs to be on Mine's that side. Mine's just sucking out. And one's are blowing. Get out, you. So I need to put it on the other end. Pump. No. <laughs> but we're yeah. going to be going out in the dinghy again. Yeah. And Rob just said um, we're going to put a couple of rakes at the back and then drive the dinghy and then drag yeah, potentially like drag the rakes oh, behind the boat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good idea. I'm up for that. Good. Because <laughs> I'm driving the boat, you're saying the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> now it all comes out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sailing off into the sunset. Look at that. Opposite, haven't you? So as you turn your hand, it goes. <laughs> so I did ask her, but she said no, just do it the same as yours. So. Well, there's always goings on down this river. Hey, I don't get up till 10. I'm a proper camper. I'm a proper camper. Well, by the time I've had a cooked breakfast, everyone's gone. What a night that was. Where's my bed? I just want my bed. <laughs> So this is the plan of action. What we're going to do is we're going to have the rake, this loop going through where you attach the um, yours to on either side and this one as well through that side. So we've got two rakes dragging behind that boat as we drive, hopefully going along the bottom. And I'm talking to you now on the grip, the floaty grip. In a sink. Oh no. But what happened was, it just sort of sat like that in the water, so you can see that bright orange bit from quite a distance. So, um, brilliant. We're happy with that. So, if I drop the one, if I drop that camera, it won't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll see. Brakes to the inside of the pole holders, the or or, or holders, <laughs> um, and uh, that way we won't lose the rakes. We can just throw them in and drag them. You you can't be too sure. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see if we can resurrect this camera today. Well, I'm hoping that they don't push out. I'm hoping that we don't um, 
snag anything that's stuck on the bottom yeah. and then it'll rip the oh, no. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm thinking if we don't, if we sort of snagged anything that's uh, a permanent resident, let's say, or a big, a big rock, I don't know, like a half sunken chair or something that's poking up and, um, you know, it'll rip these off. We're thinking about it, the jerk of it will put me straight in the water and all. Look at that, look, what chance have we got, honestly? <laughs> yeah, we've just done one pass with, with no luck. We've just brought weeds up. All we, see, all we seem to be getting is fishing line and um, debris at the bottom of the river. So not much luck. Just to give you an idea of what we're faced with, I'll put you in again and you can see. Someone's about to give us a, a grappling hook to use, so we'll try that. We've just done, we've just done one pass with that, and I'll tell you what, it brought everything up. It's the ideal thing to use, so um, obviously we're searching on a smaller area with that. But uh, that would definitely do it, if anything, that would. A couple more passes and then that's it. That's no luck, it's just um, virtually impossible. My first attempt, I'm going to have a go at paddle boarding <laughs> on that one. <laughs> so that's some buoyancy aid. Buoyancy aid yep. to be worn. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to connect you to the safety strap as well, so the board doesn't, if you do go in the drink, yeah. then you don't get floating off anywhere. Safety so. strap? Yeah. This is, this so is sounding put, more and more. Yeah, this is just, a, it, this is one you can put around your waist. It's just so we don't, you don't come disconnected from your board. I got mean, it, this, got this it. The river's really <clears throat> still, so you'll be fine. Yeah, there. okay. Let's have a go. It's easier to stand up if you've got forward speed. Yeah, and use your um, windscreen. Use your hand to grip the end, and once you're out, and then last it. And you've got to be swapping whatever you can take either side there in the middle. 
If you take your feet as wide as you can, that will give you the most stability. You can do it. That's all you gotta do. No luck at all with the camera. We couldn't find it. And it got to a point where we was, uh, we was up and down all day, dragging those rakes, you know. We was getting on people's nerves, to be honest. It weren't fair. We're causing it like a wake where we was going and there's people away for, for the weekend, like what we are on their narrow boats. And to keep disturbing them, they were either working on them or trying to sleep or, you know, going like that. We're just going to enjoy our evening now, um, try and relax. I've got a nice cheese toasty going on here with a, with a bit of ketchup. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have a good day. The sun's supposed to be coming out. Get back on the kayak, get back on the uh, paddle board. Uh, calm morning today just about to walk the dogs still a bit disappointed really about the camera but uh, I did have high hopes actually because of the um, the search area it was small and uh, I thought we would be able to retrieve it but as much as we tried we couldn't get it back so um, yeah we're gonna carry on today just gonna walk the dogs and then uh, we'll have something to eat what yeah. we got to eat? Uh, chicken and chorizo and salad. Chicken and chorizo and salad for lunch. Sounds nice. Just had some Weetabix and uh, yeah. We'll see what today brings. We're not going to be about for too long today. We'll probably shoot off a bit early. So um, we'll see what's uh, see what happens.